All right, my friends, so news is out. The comp is off for the end of the year, so this would mean that a lot of my girls have been canceled twice, which obviously is no one's fault. Um, we can't change what's going on in the world. We can't be mad at it, it's no use. Um, so, you know, back to the drawing board. I think the good thing is that every one of our girls, including myself, um, were really prepared for this. I kind of knew that it wasn't gonna go ahead from the get-go with everything that was gonna happen in the second wave of the whole virus happening. So um, we were really well prepared. I let them know two weeks ago that it probably wouldn't have gone ahead and we made some alternate plans in case it wasn't gonna go ahead just so that they weren't gonna get this news and be a little bit destroyed or have no structure. So um, I guess for me, personally, um, this was probably going to be my last year competing, to be completely honest with everyone. Um, so it's kind of thrown a spanner in the works with all this because, you know, the Worlds was going to be my last overseas show. Um, I am bordering on 30 years old now, so I know that for a bodybuilder or whatever, that's not old. But I just feel like I'm ready to go into a different phase of my life, you know. I've actually found that this year has been so good for me mentally and physically. Being able to handle my off season a lot better than I ever have. You know, I, I'm on more food than I ever have. I've looked the best in my off season. So going into another comp was kind of like a little bit of an iffy thing for me anyway. And I think I talked about that last YouTube. So I'm not upset. I'm actually, my mood went up like 6,000% yesterday when they, they called it off. I know it's really sad for a lot of people, but it wasn't gonna go ahead. We weren't gonna get the crowds. It wasn't gonna be the show that everyone wanted it to be. So, you know, the best thing is to wait until next year. The best thing, best decision was made by Ari and the team. So, um, now I'm stoked. <laughs> I get to still have fun and I still get to have all my calories and I'm still gonna train hard. And, and what I'm gonna do though, is really show people that off season can be a time when you can look fucking fantastic. And off season does not need to be a time when you turn into a sloppy mess and forget your goals and structure because off season is the time that everything actually happens, you know? All your gains are made on your off season. All your met metabolic conditioning, you know, is happening in this off season. So this is a time to really work hard. Um, and I guess like if anyone has been watching this and they are upset that it got canceled, let's just have, find another focus. There's no, no need to be dwelling in this being a, a bad decision because you know it's the best decision that could have been made for a lot of people you know a lot of people the one thing that i was really upset about was the fact that i was not going to be competing against the girls that were in victoria and that wasn't going to be fair you know to be competing against just the people in queensland and that would have been you know, my lineup would have been like two or three and as a competitive person i want the biggest lineup possible especially in figure when you know there's not many of us anyway so yeah, we'll see what happens with competing. Um, I'm not gonna take it off the table altogether because I like to make very impulse decisions about what I like to do with my career. So, you know, we could be competing next year. We couldn't, I don't know. Um, next year was gonna be more of a traveling year for us, but we'll see as well. Probably won't be traveling anyway. I, um, I feel like I'm a very realistic person, so you know, this is a really fun time now. I'm just gonna explore being on higher calories. I'm gonna hit my macros more precisely. I'm gonna train really fucking hard. Um, yeah, I'm good.